tell me about your your experience with Tommy Boy and how that impacted your experience just with the whole industry. I mean, Tom Silverman, you know, I don't know if I should say this because we're trying to buy back the war report and mm-hmm. reunion, but he was a piece of shit, man. Mm-hmm. Like, like Tom Silverman was somebody that I said I never want to be like. When you mm-hmm. could snake your friend that you've been in business with for 20 years and you can just turn around and snake him, there's no telling what you can do to everybody else. And I'm going to give you what happened, right? And this is totally crazy. One day, Tom Silverman calls... Um, Chris Lighty, rest in peace, Chris. He calls Chris Lighty like, yo, I want to take CNN to dinner. Mm. So we like, all right. He's like, yo, ask him where they want to go. You know us, Mr. Childs, baby. We're going to blow Charles. the budget. You know what I mean? We're going <laughs> to blow his budget. We're going to mm-hmm. see where his pockets is at. So he, he think it's going to be just me and Nori. We get to Mr. Childs, it's like 20 people. Everybody got to eat. You know what I mean? You want to <laughs> eat with us? Everybody got to eat. I'm right. in there, I got the bulletproof vest on. This one I was I just I was I was I was on some bullshit at this time. I got the mm-hmm. bulletproof vest on, the gun on my waist. I'm a Mr. Chaz, like, what the fuck you gotta talk about. Cause mind you, he didn't want to have mm-hmm. nothing to do with us before this. Uh-huh. Like it was Neil Levine who held us down. Neil mm-hmm. held us down. Tommy, Tom Silverman act like we didn't exist up until when I came home and he seen how hot niggas was. Now he wanna be a part of it. So he wanna take us to dinner. Why you wanna take us to dinner? So now we get to the dinner, and he's like, yo, I'm dissolving penalty. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you're dissolving penalty? For what? We're doing great. Like, we're, we're winning. Like, he like, no, I want to be hands-on with you guys and all this. So he like, yo, I, right, I'm going to double whatever money and all this. So we, we be looking like, all right, he, gonna, he breaking out the bag. He breaking the bank open. We in. So now Chris mm-hmm. like, yo, my, my, my boys need this and this. So... Now, Tom Silverman, this is Zach words. What do you need from penalty so we can keep going forward on Tommy Boy? So we like, we need Cardan. We need Half a Mill. We need Carolyn Williams. We need Mayhem. We need Martin Moore. We, we running down the line of everybody we need to make everything cool. So he's like, I'm bringing everybody. So we was like, I bet. So we mm-hmm. thinking, all right, this is going to happen in weeks. We eat the food, but before mm-hmm. we leave, we turn around, we see Queen Latifah. Queen Latifah grabbed my jacket like this. She was like, like pointing at Tom Silverman, like, no good. <laughs> and I'm like, holy shit. This is coming from the queen, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, holy shit. So now we leave, no bullshit. The next morning, t- um, penalty was our hangout. We had the rooftop where we could smoke. It was a hangout. We had the boom boom room. We it was the it was the hangout, my nigga. So now we get the penalty. No, no, no matter of fact, Gino calls me like, yo, the doors is locked. Tom Silverman had them come padlock the doors. Mm. I'm talking about Neil Levine couldn't even get in his office. He's the owner of penalty. Mm. So when he did that, I said, Oh, this nigga's a piece of shit. Like, you don't even... I'm talking about the very next day after the meeting. Like, you don't even give motherfuckers a chance to go get their shit. He had police escort everybody in there. And you couldn't even take your... They couldn't even take their shit home. They had to take all their shit to Tommy Boy. So right. now we get to Tommy Boy. Let me tell you what this motherfucker does. So now we like, yo, we're we going to drop the reunion. We, we're, we're super hot right now. We're super hot. Mm. He says, oh, I think I'm going to go with De La Soul. we like, what? <laughs> like, hold up. we like, what? Like, no disrespect to De La. Uh-huh. All of them is my homies. And they, mm. I swear to you, not telling this was makes it illa. They was fighting for us. They was like, <laughs> no, you got to drop them <clears throat> niggas right now. They're super hot. See, what he was doing was, he was just trying to be the boss. And mm. De La Soul telling him, don't drop our shit right now because we're not ready. Them niggas is super hot. Drop they shit. Pone just came home. Mm-hmm. They fucking with us. So now yeah. they don't even want to drop. He forces their album to drop. They shit don't do what they supposed to do. So now he comes to us and trying to put the flame to us. Now like, yo, mm-hmm. y'all got to drop. We're like, nigga, we was been supposed to drop. Right. So make a long story short. 
he drops the album. We do like 130,000 the first week or so. We mad because we know we're supposed to do like 400,000 from the heat that we got right now. The fire under us, we're supposed to do like 400,000. Mm. So he dropped the ball. So we said, you know what? Fuck you. This is what we're going to do. Because after we dropped the album, we caught the eyes of Kevin Lyles and Leo. So Leo and Kevin Lyles like, y'all happy over there? We like, nah, not really. Mm-hmm. All right, we got y'all. So he was like, yo, we got um, Tom Silverman. They sent a letter to Tom Silverman. Tom Silverman said, they go gold. We'll, 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 we'll let them go. You know what I'm saying? We'll make it happen. We'll let them go. At this time, we sold like 450,000 records, right? So Tom Silverman playing hardball. So the mm-hmm. next day, he goes, remember Dan Hoffman? Mm-hmm. He goes, Dan Hoffman was his partner for 20 years. He locks Dan Hoffman out of his office. They had an argument. He locks him out of his office, gets rid of him, has the police come escort him out the building. This is a dude he knew for 20 years as his mm. partner. So I'm like, oh, he's found. So you mm. know what we did? We ordered $50,000 worth of food and just had him send everything to the... Because you know how it is on the label, Tally. You just mm. order some shit out the book. They got mm. the credit cards on file. We ordered right. 50 Big Mac meals, 200 <laughs> pizza pies, 30 steak dinners. That sounds like... Yo, Donald we Trump at the White House. <laughs> oh, we went crazy. Yeah, Donald Trump at the White House. We went <laughs> crazy. We, we right. ordered 50,000. The tab came to 50,000 worth of food and broke all the plaques that we had up there. Broke all the plaques. <laughs> and the next day we left. Everybody mm-hmm. left with boxes of food and shit. We ordered from every top scale restaurant they had in the book. And everybody left. The next day we would try to come to the label and do it again. <laughs> Police was downstairs at, at the escalators like, oh, y'all can't come in the building. <laughs> like, <"Yo." laughs> and, and, and we was like, and we looked at each other, man, and we said, we did our job. And no mm-hmm. bullshit, maybe two, three weeks later, we was on Death Jam. That's a movie right there. That's how, that's how foul Tom Silverman was, man. He mm-hmm. he he had no loyalty. That's when we, we started this interview talking about loyalty. We That's started, right, we man, you talking about loyalty. We he did. has no loyalty to mm. nothing. And for Daylight to be going through what they're going through right now as far as trying to get their royalties, the shit that they deserve, mm-hmm. and he don't want to give it up. It's like, come on, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like this is everything going down with people changing the names because their institutions have slave names and all that. Mm-hmm. He's still trying to be a slave master. That's, That's right. what he's trying to do. That's what he's trying to be. Like, it's not going to work for long because somebody's going to hang his ass out the dry. Like, it's not going to happen. And we're, mm-hmm. we're in the process of trying to get our shit back too, the same way as Dayla. And, and and I think Naughty and everybody else should be doing the same thing because he don't deserve it. Mm-hmm. He don't deserve it. He's not like a, 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 a person who deserves it. He don't deserve it to own our catalogs. He don't deserve it.